Would moving to St. George, Utah be a giant mistake? Because in reality, Hurricane is a much better fit for you. In the next 10 minutes or less, we are going to help you solve the dilemma. Stick around until the end of this video and we will tell you exactly how we feel after living in both cities. No, really, stick around. Today, we are going to talk about some of the major pros and cons of living in these two cities and compare some of the most important factors for somebody who is considering living in either St. George or Hurricane. We will discuss things like drivability, walking distances, schools and after school activities, utilities, the weather, cost of real estate, access to recreation, gyms, groceries and shopping. And if you watch until the very end, we will share our own personal take on what it is like to live in both of these cities and our personal experience. If you watched any other videos on this YouTube channel, you probably already know that St. George, Utah is a medium sized city with a population of around 103,000 people as of 2022 census that is centrally located in Washington County. And if you're driving, typically nothing is more than five to 10 minutes apart within the city of St. George. There are some communities where not having a car is totally possible and most things are within walking or biking distance. However, we personally don't think that it would be ideal and would certainly pose some challenges. When comparing public transportation and Uber, both those things are available in St. George. However, they're not as practical and not as convenient as any larger city in America. Hurricane is a much smaller city with a population of just 23,000 people as of 2022 census. Due to the smaller size and just 52 square miles compared to 72 square miles in St. George, getting across town takes no more than five minutes and pretty much everything is fairly close. Hurricane is not ideal if you're looking to live within walking distance of most important things and not rely on a car. You will need to drive to most places. St. George, Utah is just 12 miles south of Hurricane, so a lot of the amenities and shopping are shared by residents in both cities, as pretty much all of the amenities in St. George are less than a 20 minute drive from Hurricane, and most of Hurricane's outdoor recreation is just a 15 minute drive from St. George. With that being said, St. George has an increasing number of great restaurants, all of the big box retail that you would expect from a medium sized city like Walmart, Costco, Target, and all of the typical grocery stores like Albertsons and Smith's and stores like Harmon's and Natural Grocers if you're looking for healthier options and produce. Hurricane has some shopping and restaurants, but the choices are limited and similar to those that you could find in most small cities in America. Really nothing much to write home about. There's Walmart, two smaller grocery stores, and a few decent restaurants. But if you live here, most likely you will find yourself driving to St. George or Washington to do most of your shopping, or if you would like to go grab a bite too. If you value short commutes and last time spent on doing your everyday errands, especially if you're a picky grocery shopper and eater like us, the compounding effect of driving less and doing things quicker would quite possibly make St. George a better option in this category. If you have school aged children and you would like to have some choices for their schools, Washington County School District will give you plenty of options for public schools. There are several private schools and academies to choose from as well. Majority of the most sought after schools are going to be located in St. George. By the way, this information can be very confusing. If you are not following along with the map, check the link in the description below for an interactive map of Washington County K through 12 schools. That may also come in super handy when you're shopping for your future home here. Just to give you an idea for comparison, St. George has 14 elementary schools versus Hurricane just has two. St. George has seven intermediate slash middle schools versus Hurricane has just two. And St. George has five high schools First Hurricane has just one. Our next topic is after school activities. This topic is tough to cover because there are endless after school activities. St. George has more after school activities than Hurricane because it's bigger and has more facilities. With more people and resources, St. George offers a wider range of programs while Hurricane smaller sized means fewer options. We currently live in Hurricane and we drive into St. George for all of our daughter's activities. If you are watching this video, chances are you are seriously considering moving to Southern Utah or trying to avoid the mistake of moving to the wrong place. Michelle and I have worked with hundreds of clients that have picked up their entire lives and moved to St. George, Utah or any of the surrounding areas. So we have a really good idea of what it is like, all the challenges and all the surprises that you may expect if you're getting ready to go through that experience. As a thank you to all of our viewers, we would like to give you two complimentary resources. 
a guide to all the best places in southern Utah. Like local hidden gems, best places to see, and some of the best food that you can find here, as well as access to our website. Unlike Zillow and all of the other websites, we do not sell your data to third-party websites. You will not be harassed right after you look at a few homes. You will get a hello text from us, but we would also hope that you would shoot us a text, give us a call, or email us when you are ready to talk. We love hearing from our viewers. If you're anything like us, staying in shape is important, and going to the right gym is a huge part of your day. We often work from home, and in our business, there is no clear start or finish of our workday. Making sure that our day starts with a good workout and zero drama or awkward gym interactions is very important. If you're considering moving to St. George, Utah, you'll have access to a good variety of gyms. Anything from commercial gyms like Fossa Fitness or larger private gyms like Summit Fitness and destination gyms like Fitness Culture. While living here, we've attended several different gyms in the area. And just like anywhere else in the country, they are all uniquely different based on amenities, gym demographic, and having more choices certainly gives you more options. Our St. George gyms of choice, our fitness culture, and Summit Fitness. Both are very different, but both are great in their own way. Summit is an all-around great medium-sized gym with pool and daycare, while fitness culture is reserved for mostly athletes and has minimal amenities, but all of the best equipment and straight down to business gym crowd. If you are considering moving to Hurricane, your gym options are going to be a bit more limited and at times more crowded. Performance fitness and anytime fitness are two of the larger options and there are a handful of smaller CrossFit gyms. And from personal experience, having tried all of the gym options available in Hurricane, I can totally justify the short drive to St. George just because I really enjoy the atmosphere at fitness culture and it is well worth it for me. And if you already happen to live in this area and happen to train in this area, what gym do you go to? Drop us a comment below this video. I'm genuinely curious to know where and why. Cost of utilities can be a determining factor for your next move. A lot of our clients move from states where the cost of utilities is just absurdly ridiculous, especially cost of power when it's determined by tariffs based on the time of day in places like California and Washington. Well, City of St. George, provides coverage for water, sewer, and trash. That bill typically ends up being just around $90 a month, unless your home has a pool and you happen to be using a lot more water. If you're buying a home in St. George, you will typically have two options for power. It's either the city of St. George or Dixie Power. Both power companies offer a great price per kilowatt, but Dixie Power is significantly more affordable at just six cents per kilowatt compared to eight cents per kilowatt for the city of St. George Power. Dixie Power is in the top three of the lowest priced power companies in the nation. Here's a pro tip to anyone that is making their home purchase decision based on the cost of power. Maybe you're thinking about buying a home with a large shop or a pool or anything that demands a huge power demand. Since it is determined by the coverage map, reference your home search map to the Dixie Power service map. I will link it below the video. Or just reach out to us and we can customize your home search including only the areas that fall into the Dixie Power area footprint. Overall, total cost of utilities for a 2,000 square foot home in St. George, Utah in 2024 can break down to roughly this. $200 a month for power, $90 for the city utilities like water, sewer, and trash, and about $20 a month for natural gas. Give or take, these prices may change depending on personal consumption, but we find for that to be a about average. We average out power and gas as both of these bills are affected by the weather and depending on how much you're heating and cooling your house. The median energy provides natural gas service in all of Southern Utah. And unless you're heating a pool, you can expect for the monthly bill to be around $20. If you're considering moving to Hurricane, City of Hurricane utilities are pretty similar. Water, sewer, trash, and power are provided by the city and there's only one subdivision in Hurricane that falls into Dixie Power coverage map. Well, actually, there are more subdivisions around Dixie uh, Springs that are added into that footprint. And I will, again, link the map in the description below this video. So if you buy a home there, you can expect to save about three cents per kilowatt compared to the rest of City of Hurricane. City of Hurricane Power is right around nine cents per kilowatt, which is actually still considerably cheaper than most of the parts of the nation where people are moving from. When comparing utility prices, 
There's no clear winner here. The only thing that's certain is if you stay within the Dixie power coverage map, you're going to save the most money. But even if you're on the city of St. George or city of Hurricane Utilities, you can expect to save anywhere from 20 to 50% depending on where you're moving from. Next, I'm going to cover the difference in the weather. St. George is about 400 feet lower in elevation compared to Hurricane at 2,800 feet above sea level compared to 3,200 feet above sea level in St. George. It does not sound like much, but when you factor in the topography of the area, it makes a big difference. Hurricane is known for its winds, and even though two cities are just 12 miles apart, often there is a significant difference in weather. During the hot summer months, St. George is often five degrees warmer. But in the winter time, with the added wind chill temps in Hurricane, it can be nearly 10 degrees cooler. And it can feel quite significant when, when comparing, say, 25 degrees in Hurricane to 35 degrees in St. George. As far as the wind goes, there is a saying from the locals, Cedar City sucks and Hurricane blows. I guess they don't call it Hurricane for no reason. In my personal opinion, St. George is a better option in terms of weather. It will be a touch hotter in the summer, but you will also find your patio furniture and your barbecue grill exactly where you left it last. Let's talk about home values. Historically, Hurricane Utah offers a little bit more bang for the buck. Prior to the mortgage rates dropping to the all-time lows in 2020, if our clients had a tighter budget or wanted to see a little bit more home in the same price range, Hurricane would be the answer. However, when things dropped to the all-time lows in 2020, housing market absolutely rallied everywhere in Southern Utah. People were moving into this area from all over the place, and we still have a lot of clients moving here from every part of the world. But now that the homes are starting to sit on the market a little bit longer, things are getting back to where they are. So in 2024, if you're shopping Southern Utah real estate market, if we look at the MLS stats, it would appear that the median sale price in St. George is actually lower. But if we compare apples to apples in the same price range, say a $650,000 home in Hurricane versus a $650,000 home in St. George, you will likely get a nicer, larger home in Hurricane based on what is available in the market right now. I will post the links in the description below this video so you can check out for yourself what types of homes you can afford in St. George versus Hurricane. And of course, if you need any help, feel free to reach out to me. So from a valuation bang for the buck perspective, at the time of recording of this video, Hurricane is a winner in a cost perspective. If you are considering moving to St. George or Hurricane, you are likely already aware of the natural beauty of Southern Utah. St. George is referred to as the golf capital of Utah. There are four city courses as well as an abundance of incredible public and private courses in the area. TripAdvisor ranks Entrada at Snow Canyon, The Ledges, Dixie Red Hills, Sunbrook, and Bloomington Country Club in the top five. St. George features endless amounts of hiking and biking trails with many cool, easy hikes that are accessible right from downtown St. George, like the Sugarloaf. Many hiking and mountain biking trails are just steps away from most subdivisions in St. George. There are a few access points to the off-road trails and the desert. Arizona Strip can be accessed at the end of River Road where all sorts of outdoor recreation and off-roading is allowed. Arizona Strip connects to a robust off-road trail system that can take you to multiple states, so lots of room for adventure. If Hurricane is even on your radar, there's a good chance that you've already subscribed to Matt's Off-Road Recovery YouTube channel. And know that over the recent years, San Hollow State Park has become a mecca of off-road recreation. Thousands of acres of sand dunes, hundreds of miles of mellow desert off-road trails, and a wide variety of beginner to advanced rock crawling trails all can be found here. Sand Hollow and Quail Creek Reservoir is perfect for boating, swimming, and fishing. If you are into golf, links at Sand Hollow, Sky Ranch, and the newest Copper Rock golf courses are all an incredible experience with breathtaking views and lush green. A wide variety of off-road vehicles can be made street legal registered and operated on public roads here. So you can sell or gift your car trailer and just ride or drive whatever it is that you've got from your RV garage straight to the desert. And Dixie Springs is a perfect neighborhood for that. You are literally just minutes away from recreation if you live here. So going out in wheeling or golfing is made possible even on work days. 
Just think about how much time you normally spend loading, unloading, and unpacking. At this point, I think we can agree that there is no right answer whether St. George or Hurricane is going to be a better fit for you. Both of these Southern Utah cities have an extensive list of pros and some cons. Having lived in both Hurricane and St. George, we do not feel that you could really go wrong. If you prefer a shorter commute to all medium-sized amenities or have school-aged children, they're active in sports and have an action-packed sports and after-school schedule, and you happen to be the chauffeur for your team, moving to St. George may be a clear choice. If a quick round of golf in the morning or a quick stroll on your dirt bike or side-by-side -side on a weekday, overall small-town feel of being closer to nature is more important to you and you could care less about the 20-minute drive to go shopping, Hurricane is going to deliver a much better bang for the buck. We've enjoyed being closer to the desert and right next to the lake in Hurricane. Dislike the winter time afternoon winds and 20 to 30 minute drives to get virtually anywhere. Wintertime St. George weather feels significantly better. Well, maybe significantly is a bit of an exaggeration. Yeah, but it's really like not that big of a difference. Feels a little better for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and really living in St. George, most of your commutes are also never longer than 10 minutes because everything is really close. Even though the roads are getting a little bit more congested because of the growing population, you can still get to places rather quickly. And being close to shopping and restaurants is a big plus. And most desirable schools and after school activities can also be huge. But enough about us. What is most important for you? Let us know in the comments or call or text us today so that we can help you determine what Southern Utah community and neighborhood is best for you. Be sure to check out the video right here, wherever it may be on the screen, for more information about the best places to live in Southern Utah. Be sure to subscribe. Give this video a like and share it with your friends.